We begin this Friday with breaking news from Waterford Township where that Cessna 172 crashed late this afternoon. Three men, a woman on board. You can see how badly damaged that plane is from the video shot from Chopper 7. And one of the first looks at the accident came from an Instagram photo taken by Zach Holmes that we posted on our website. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl is live in Waterford at this hour. What's the latest, Ronnie? Well, we're only about three and a half hours into this investigation, and authorities still have a lot of questions. They're still trying to piece together what happened, what went wrong here this afternoon. You can see the plane is still here. F uh, fire crews remain on the scene along with emergency responders. There's a lot going into this investigation, but one thing they do say this is a very sad day for the airport. Dean Barker is a plane enthusiast. He was at the Oakland County International Airport Friday afternoon watching the planes come and go when he saw smoke. I just saw a plane burning over there and uh, the uh, airport fire, uh, fire trucks started spraying foam all over it. This is a very sad day for the airport. David Vanderbeen is the Central Services Director for Oakland County. He says it was around 1.40 in the afternoon when the plane took off from the airport. Four people were on board the Cessna 172, a single engine aircraft with four seats. The plane didn't get far when the male pilot contacted air traffic control. It reached about 100 feet. I requested permission to turn around and, and land and then uh, didn't make it, crashed in the field uh, beyond, beyond the runway. The plane burst into flames. Three males and one female were on board. There were four people, including the pilot, and uh, three of them died uh, immediately. And the fourth uh, was rushed to a local hospital and, and has died subsequently. Our prayers and best wishes and sympathies are with the family. This is, uh, uh, this is a very, very sad moment. And so at this time, airport officials are still trying to figure out the relationship of the people on board that plane. Also, we don't know how experienced the pilot was. Was this a problem with the airplane or was this pilot error? That is unknown at that time. Of course, that is, will be part of the investigation. FAA will be here in just a short time. And then the NTSB will be here Saturday. The investigation into this deadly crash is expected to last about six months. Glenda? Back to you guys. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, let's ask a uh, question here, uh, Ronnie. When we talk about Oakland County, mm -hmm. a lot of personal flights, private flights, if you will, uh, come and go. But is this uh, a private flight or was it a business? Well, at this point in time, what we do know is they say it was a private plane. As you know, this airport, a lot of private planes are kept at this airport. So they do say it is a private plane. They don't believe there were business people on board. But once again, they simply don't know at this time that will be part of the investigation. Now, this plane was so badly burned that they're still working on identifying the people that were on board. Jeff? Mm -hmm. A lot of questions still left to be answered, Ronnie. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. And the airport is the state's second busiest. The last time there was a fatal accident was back in January of 2006. That's right, two men, both experienced pilots, were killed while trying to land there. We'll continue to follow this story and have more for you on our website as well at WXYZ.com and coming up at 6, 7, and 11 o'clock.